Hello friends, last time we checked out the best way to play Final Fantasy VII on the Steam Deck. There's a similar mod called Mugri Mod for Final Fantasy IX. Let's check it out! Final Fantasy IX is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. It was released in the year 2000 and it was the last mainline Final Fantasy game on the original PlayStation. Following the style set in Final Fantasy VII, it had field scenes with 3D characters walking on pre-rendered backgrounds, but fully three-dimensional world map and battle scenes with some of the most cinematic camera angles on the platform. Unlike Final Fantasy VII, all the characters have a texture snow, and the animated cutscenes have not aged that bad. The PlayStation original has been made available on PlayStation 3 and on the portable PlayStations, but unlike the two previous games, there was no PC version at the time. That was until 2016, when Square Enix released a slightly upgraded version of Final Fantasy IX on Windows and mobile platforms. The 2016 re-release of Final Fantasy IX was a bit more inspired than the 2012 re-release of Final Fantasy VII, but it's hardly a remaster. Now, the low resolution backgrounds were blurred instead of being left showing the raw pixels. The game was left running at low frame rates in 4x3 aspect ratio, just like the original. All the texts use a modern font that Square Enix loves and fans hate. And the game supports point and click mouse gameplay for some reason. So, once again, it was left up to fans to give the game the restoration it deserved. This is the Moguri mod for Final Fantasy IX. Once again, the biggest improvement are the upscaled backgrounds. The mod creators seem to be going for a bit of a grainy, pintenly style. It may take a bit of time to get used to, but in practice it works very well and tricks your brain into thinking there's more detail than there actually exists. All in all, I think the results are once again excellent, and what I would have expected Square Enix to do themselves. And it's not just the field textures that have been upgraded. The background textures in the battles and world map have also been improved. The 3D models themselves have been left as is, but I think they still look pretty nice. Most of the characters wear their original textures, but some have been upgraded, such as these black matches on the screen. By default, the 3D models look a bit rough on the Steam Deck's low resolution screen, since there's no anti-aliasing offered. The Satsuki Yatoshi mod for Final Fantasy VII offered super sample anti-aliasing that greatly improved the image quality. Fortunately, SteamOS Gaming Mode was recently updated to allow you to run the games in many different resolutions. You can make the game run internally in 4K and downsample it to the DeX native resolution of 800p for smooth model edges. Check out how much better the characters blend into the background when downsampled from 4K here. Running older games in 4K doesn't seem to make the deck even break a sweat, and you can expect a pretty decent battery life, even with the smoother outlines. One asset that Square Enix decided to modernize is the game's font. Square Enix often likes to implement a new modern font to their retro re-releases. 
The modern font looks especially weird when implemented in games with pixel graphics, but here on Final Fantasy IX it looks mostly soulless. I love the weird K letters of the original font, and they really take me back, and it's great that the mod allows you to restore the original font. Us retro gamers are weird like that, we want to have our game sharp, but fonts blocky. One of the newest and most exciting mods for Final Fantasy VII is 60 FPS support. The PlayStation Final Fantasy games had a pretty low frame rate, and unfortunately the official PC re-releases have done little to improve it. The frame rate changes depending on the scene you're currently in. The gameplay in the field and combat runs at 30 FPS. While the world map runs at only 20 FPS. The cutscenes have been interpolated from original 15 to 30 FPS in the mod. Technically, the combat scenes run at 30 frames per second, but that seems to only apply to the menus and the damage numbers. It looks like the characters animate at 15 FPS, that's about the same as hand-drawn anime on TV. When you open the game's menu, it will have the same FPS as the main game playing you were doing. So the menu opened in the world map will be frustratingly choppy to navigate. There is one part of the game that actually runs at full 60 FPS, the post-combat experience screen. So while most of the gameplay is pretty choppy, at least leveling up is extra smooth. The Moguri mod comes with one cool feature that wasn't in Satsuki Yatoshi mod. It has proper support for 16x9 widescreen. And by proper, I mean the picture fills the screen without being stretched. Some scenes were designed strictly for 4x3 screens, so they will display with black bars. But most of the scenes fill the entire screen. I wasn't bothered by the few narrow scenes, but I noticed some minor bugs in combat effects not filling the screen. Also, for example, in this scene, the text was in wrong position. But seriously, it's nothing major. To be honest, the proper widescreen might be even nicer upgrade than the high frame rate offered in the Satsuki Yatoshi mod. The mod also offers alternative music by Pontus Hultgren. I think the tracks are excellent when you listen to them outside of the game, but I'm just so attached to the original soundtrack. I need to hear the electric drums whenever a battle begins. But I have to admit, I was having chills go down my spine when I first heard the new version of the Beatrix theme. The new music is optional, so you can enable it if you like it. Valve has marked Final Fantasy IX officially as unsupported on the deck, but I haven't had much problem with the modded game. The installation of the mod is not quite as difficult as Final Fantasy VII's, but it's still a bit of a hassle. 
As previously, I'm going to release a tutorial video on installing the mod on Dict a bit later. The mod completely replaces the original game, so you can just launch it like normally. Most SteamOS functions like achievements, sleep mode and game time tracking work just like you expect. Only thing that doesn't seem to work is Steam Cloud Saves, which is a bit of a bummer if you're playing the game on your desktop as well. One weird thing I experienced was very low battle rate in the dungeons. Really, look how long I was able to explore Fossil Rue before the first battle. And that was the only battle in the whole dungeon I encountered. But it was actually a bit of a blessing. I got exploration done faster and my characters were pretty low level, so the bosses gave me a nice challenge. I don't know if this was intended or a bug, but I remember getting much more battles in the PlayStation original. On the world map I think I got normal amount of battles. All in all, I've had excellent time with Final Fantasy IX on the deck. Generally, retro games with large decks work very well on handheld. The game has been a bit more challenging than I expected, considerably more difficult than Final Fantasy VII I played previously. The story is just as good as ever. It's lighthearted, but it has depth. It moves with excellent momentum without endless side quests like many modern games. It's a story about accepting yourself and your friends. I love almost everyone in the cast, and in the story the characters have excellent chemistry. But gameplay-wise, I feel the character classes are a bit off-balance. There's two white mage summoner dual classers, but practically just one and a half offensive magic users. Also, I'm a bit disappointed you get Amaranth, the boring bounty hunter in your party, instead of Lani, allegedly the best and the most beautiful bounty hunter in the world. In the end, I think this leads to most players having a very similar party. Who did you choose? The game teases you with an opportunity to play as Beatrix for a hot second, but apparently there's a mod available where you can get her permanently in your party. I might have to check that out later. So that's the Mugori mod for PC version of Final Fantasy IX. Pretty great stuff! I will be releasing a tutorial video on how to install it on your Steam Deck a bit later, so if you want to see that, or more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. But in any case, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and see you next time!